Hey everybody. <clears throat> so I'm down here this morning uh, before it gets too sunny <laughs> to harvest a few cucumbers. I've taken them off already. Uh, <clears throat> I got a lot more hanging here, I'll show you. So far I've taken 17 off. I think I cut one, two, three, four, five, about eight or something this morning. But <clears throat> check it out. I, I got them just, man, they're just, <laughs> they're coming on and they're coming on. They're great. Check this out. Everywhere I'm taking them, I'm coming back the next day and they seem to just explode. And uh, so there's lots more. You can see the flowers here, some halfway up. You can see all the flowers I've got. This is just great. So going all the way up there to the roof. And uh, so that means, I think, a lot. I mean, a lot of fruit. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of cucumbers here. Anyway, uh, I just grabbed these. I'm gonna run them upstairs and then uh, I got some stuff to show you about this NFT system and roots. Yeah, what a drag. <laughs> well, <clears throat> okay, it's like 17 really, really awesome cucumbers that I picked so far off this thing. <clears throat> I'm really happy about that. And I got tons more coming. <clears throat> but two of the problems I found about this NFT system is uh, if you're doing cu cucumbers in them, jeez. They go through water like you just wouldn't believe. I got a, I put a little reservoir on there, but uh, it's a little small. It's three gallons, right? So today I'm going to put this guy on there. I'll show you. Um, this is a, a commercial bleach bucket from work. They're amazingly strong. So that's going to be my new reservoir. It's looking, you know, in the neighborhoods of like 20 gallons or something like that. But anyway, I came out. <coughs> And I heard it dripping, and uh, I, had a, I had a bucket under there, just happened to be there. So I hear this thing's dripping and dripping. God, what's going on? So anyway, the top of the NFT system was overflowing. And uh, I'll show you what's happened there. It's, uh, I, I changed the end. I was running way, 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 way too much water all the time. And, like I had a really, really good bump in there. It was just really screaming. So uh, what I did is I cut the end off and I put another uh, diverter <clears throat> on there just like I have on the, on my uh, Dutch bucket system over here. I'll, I'll show you what I did. This one's just got four. I'm only using three of them right now, but uh, I'll show you. This is the only solution that I came up with and I'm going to see if I can make it through the summer. Anyway, check it out. So, you can see right here I, I cut my tubing. <coughs> I added this guy on here. These, you know, these are commercially available. You get these at Home Depot, whatever. They're, you get them in the garden supply. They just divert water. So this one I ran one tube into here because you can see the water level still. Um, I just run one tube to kind of limit its water, right? Because it's well, overflowing. That, and I also increased the angle of the tube. Uh, you know, hoping it would pull more dry. You can see everybody, everybody's damp this morning and <laughs> just getting going. But uh, so yeah, that's what I did. I just uh, increased the angle of the tube, cut the water back and it seems to be okay. Um, oddly enough, they still seem to consume as much water during the day, like transpire the water, like three gallons. Uh, six gallons, rather. Three. <laughs> yeah, it's a three gallon tank. That's why I'm going bigger. So anyway, everybody's doing really, really exceptionally well. I'm, the cucumbers are just literally... <laughs> they're outrageous. And these peppers are coming along too, although they look kind of funky. Here, I'll show you. They're just... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe these are good. And I don't know. Check it out. Okay, there's the little peppers. And I really wish I knew what the, these were called. I, I have no idea. Uh, we took the seeds out of a pepper we ate one time from uh, <laughs> Costco and it was so good that, yeah, we've been growing them. We grew a couple last year. They didn't do well in the dirt. These are doing way better in the, in, in, in the hydroponic for sure, but <clears throat> they're not just like, I don't know. They're just not like a real, real, real crazy ripping plant. Uh, I might as well show you the uh, Dutch bucket system while we're doing this. These tomato plants are really, really great. Uh, I'm pretty sure now that they're this big Spanish looking thing, but that's what they're doing. So <clears throat> I have a feeling that they're going to be uh, like those... I don't know, like those funky big, you know, tomatoes that you see, they're all gnarly. Awesome for sandwiches. Anyway, because that's all I got for right here, 
for right now. That's what I'm doing today, putting this bigger uh, water reservoir on. Man, if you do this, make sure you do that. It's just, I mean, the little three gallon one was great. It got me through, but still you're out here filling it all the time. It's a joke. Um, anyway, this is good. It's all working <laughs> really good. I'm extremely happy about this. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be an amazingly hot day out here. Anyway, just wanted a little update you and let you see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I encourage anybody and everybody to try this. It's good. It's just so much fun. All right. Do I do miss a pause, Jay? See you later, everybody.